The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended on Friday the sixth edition of the Bahrain International Trophy held at the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. His Royal Highness, the Deputy King, highlighted the unwavering support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for the kingdom's equestrian sector, which has played a pivotal role in establishing the kingdom as an international hub for horse racing. His Royal Highness emphasized that His Majesty the King's continued support has strengthened the kingdom's commitment to advancing the horse racing sector, channeling efforts towards its ongoing development and achieving its long-term aspirations. His Royal Highness recognized Team Bahrain's efforts in advancing the kingdom's horse racing sector through the implementation of various development initiatives and projects. His Royal Highness reaffirmed the Kingdom's commitment to preserving horse racing, which is deeply rooted in its culture and history and cherished by both present and future generations. His Royal Highness the Deputy King expressed the Kingdom's pride in hosting prestigious horse racing competitions and reaffirmed the Kingdom's commitment to supporting the sport. His Royal Highness praised the organizational efforts of the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club, led by the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust, Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Labour Fund Tamkeen, and Chairman of the REHC Supreme Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and strengthening the Kingdom's global position as a host for international horse racing competitions. His Royal Highness the Deputy King emphasized that the Kingdom's progress in equestrian sport has been driven by the dedication, expertise and ambition of the Bahraini workforce, while also highlighting the strong international and regional participation in the competition. His Royal Highness congratulated the first place winners and extended his best wishes to the remaining participants for success in future races. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman stated that the development of the Kingdom's horse racing sector aligns with the far-reaching vision of His Majesty the King and the directives of His Royal Highness the Deputy King. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman emphasized that advancing the Kingdom's equestrian sector will enhance Bahrain's ability to host international horse racing competitions, attract the best stables worldwide, and meet the highest international standards. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman highlighted that the Bahrain International Trophy reflects the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club's commitment to offering a premier international horse racing experience in the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman extended his congratulations to the winners and expressed his best wishes for success to all participants in the upcoming races. His Royal Highness presented the Bahrain International Trophy to Sir Alex Ferguson, Dunn and Mason, the owners of Spirit Dancer, who claimed first place in the 8th and main race held for imported graded class one group two horses at a distance of 2,000 meters. This marks Spirit Dancer's second consecutive victory in the competition. The runner-up were lead artist who secured second place followed by Caliph in third place and Afalia who finished in fourth place. His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the Economic Development Board Cup for the Minister from the Minister of Sustainable Development, the Chief Executive of Bahrain ETB, Noor bin Ali Al Khalif. His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa also received the Beyond Cup from the Chairman of Beyond, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, member of the Board of Directors of Ibrahim Khalil Kano Company, Isa Kano, presented the Lexus Cup to Assistant Trainer Paul Smith. His Highness Sheikh Nader bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa received the seventh race cup from the CEO of Babco Energies, Mark Thomas, and the fifth race cup from the chairman of Gulf Air, Khalid Taqi. The regional director of Grand Seco Bahrain Jewelry Center, Joseph Nakashi, presented the fourth race up to the winner, to the owner, Hassan Abdullah. The CEO of the REHC Yusuf Osama Buhiji presented the first race cup to Yusuf Tahir. A total of seven races were held for Babco Energies beyond the Economic Development Board, Grand Seco, Bahrain Jewelry Center, Yusuf bin Ahmed Kano, Lexus, Gulf Air. Winner of the other races were also awarded with trophies.
On the International Day for Tolerance, the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed al Salam, commended the wise and humanitarian approach of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in further strengthening the values of tolerance and peaceful coexistence in Bahrain. al Salam emphasized Bahrain's commitment to reinforcing religious tolerance, national unity and peaceful coexistence. He highlighted the Kingdom's long-standing heritage, national culture and pioneering legislative and executive system that support these values. al Salam also noted that Bahrain's dedication to tolerance is evident in its tangible reality of peaceful coexistence, freedoms and human rights. He noted the importance of the royal initiatives at the regional and international levels, such as the launch of the Declaration of the Kingdom of Bahrain as a global document to promote tolerance, the establishment of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence and the King Hamad Chair for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence at Sipanza University in Italy. al Salam added that Bahrain has been keen to include the values and principles of tolerance, peaceful coexistence, respect for pluralism, and acceptance of others in all its educational, cultural, media, and development programs and projects, and to develop them in society and among the young people, while ensuring the free and peaceful exercise of the rites and religious rituals of all religions and sects. He stressed the keenness of parliamentary diplomacy to highlight the civilizational achievements and multiple successes of Bahrain in the field of tolerance and coexistence and communicate the Bahraini humanitarian message. Marking the International Day for Tolerance, the chairman of the Shura Council, Ali as Saleh, emphasized Bahrain's commitment to tolerance and coexistence which is strengthened by the directives of His Majesty the King and his continuous support and backing for all endeavors and efforts aimed at instilling a culture of tolerance and respect for others among peoples and nations. The chairman praised His Majesty's initiatives in establishing the King Hamad Award for Peaceful Coexistence, the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, and the King Hamad Chair for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence at Sapienza University in Italy stressing that these initiatives embody a humane and enlightened approach to spread tolerance and strengthen ties between countries and peoples. Saleh commended the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, for further advancing Bahrain's role as a global model for tolerance and dialogue. Saleh said that Bahrain has become a unique and pioneering model regionally and globally in adhering to the values and principles of tolerance, coexistence and human brotherhood. He added, that Bahraini parliamentary diplomacy has proven its firm role in publicizing national achievements in the field of human rights and building international and regional partnerships to make tolerance a pillar in the renaissance and development of societies. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and Chairperson of the National Human Rights Committee, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani, emphasized Bahrain's long standing values of tolerance and peaceful coexistence rooted in the vision of His Majesty the King. In a statement marking the International Day for Tolerance, the Minister reaffirmed Bahrain's position as a historic model of national unity, religious and cultural diversity, and respect for human values. He highlighted the alignment of these principles with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the National Action Charter. Constitution and the National Human Rights Plan, as well as international agreements. The Minister commended the Kingdom's regional and international initiatives, including the launch of Bahrain's declaration to promote religious freedom, the establishment of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, and its educational and awareness programs. He also highlighted the organization of international forums to foster dialogue among civilizations and cultures the King Hamad Award for Peaceful Coexistence, and Bahrain's call for an international convention to criminalize hate speech and prevent the misuse of media platforms for incitement. The minister reaffirmed Bahrain's commitment to further advancing tolerance and citizenship through robust legislative frameworks that uphold human rights, religious freedoms, and cultural dialogue, contributing to harmonious societies regionally and internationally. Bahrain joins the international community to celebrating the International Day for Tolerance, which falls on November the 16th annually. This international day aims to consolidate the values and culture of tolerance and respect among people and to reject all manifestations and forms of intolerance, discrimination and hatred. 
1996, on November 16th, the United Nations General Assembly adopted an international day known as the International Day for Tolerance, recognizing the universal human rights and fundamental freedoms of others. This is the definition of tolerance given by the United Nations General Assembly, which took it upon itself to promote tolerance and nonviolence by defining the principles of tolerance and developing a plan of action to follow up on the implementation of these principles, which are concerned with the institutionalization of tolerance in the societies of member states. This International Day aims to consolidate the values and culture of tolerance and respect among people, reject all manifestations and forms of intolerance, discrimination and hatred, respect all cultures, traditions and beliefs, and understand the dangers posed by intolerance. In light of the conflicts the world is witnessing, Bahrain is making strides in developing programs, plans and strategies to promote and spread the culture of tolerance and has worked to achieve principles of tolerance in the UNESCO Declaration by establishing justice in its legislation and local laws, providing opportunities for everyone to exercise all their rights without discrimination at the level of individuals and communities and ratifying international conventions and instruments on human rights. On this occasion, we're joined by Mr. Hassan Bukhambas, who is chairman of the Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee at the Representatives Council, and he gave us this statement. First of all, I would like to express my sincere gratitude for hosting this uh, plan, which this is a critical issue for our uh, nation. Uh, under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. Uh, His Majesty region has been actually tolerance, peace and coexisting. Uh, indeed, His Majesty's recent notify the call for an international peace conference at the Arab Summit last May have uh, granted the significant domestic and international attention leadership of the Gulf parliaments have loaded this as a testament to the Kingdom of Bahrain unwavering uh, commitment to peace, justice and finding lasting solution to regional conflict, especially the Palestinian issue. Of course, coexisting and peace are fundamental principles deeply in Bahrain national identity, uh, robot legislation, framework, safeguard these principles and promote tolerance, uh, coexisting and religious and cultural diversity. Uh, furthermore, royal such as uh, King Hamad Center for dialogue between religion and peaceful coexisting, the Bahrain document and the Kingdom uh, King Hamad Chair of Dialogue at uh, Sufficient University Italy underscore the Kingdoms uh, uh, Kingdoms uh, Committee to fostering uh, interfere dialogue and peaceful coexisting. We in the legislative authority uh, continue to work in uh, according with the principles of the Constitution and National Action Charter to enact legislation and develop laws that safeguard tolerance and coexisting, particularly uh, the human rights law and the anti-discrimination law among the others. So there are genuine efforts by the Council of Representatives to launch a program that raise community awareness of these values, such as the Parliamentary Culture Program and the Youth Parliament uh, Program alongside numerous workshops and proposal that fall within this contest. 
may the kingdom of Bahrain under its wise leadership and loyal people continue to shine as a global uh, beacon of uh, tolerance and coexisting. The Minister of Tourism and Chairman of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Fatma bin Jafar Asairafi, led Bahrain's delegation at the 122nd session of the United Nations Tourism Organization Executive Board meeting in Colombia, Sri Lanka. She emphasized the importance of preserving a cultural heritage as a key component of Bahrain's tourism strategy for 2022-2026, highlighting historical sites like Bahrain Fort and museums as reflections of the country's diverse history. The minister stressed the strategic partnership between the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority and the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and further promoting traditional crafts, music and food as essential elements of Bahrain's unique tourism experience. She underscored the focus on sustainable tourism the implementation of projects preserving cultural landmarks and the integration of cultural elements into modern initi initiatives. She also emphasized the importance of measuring the social and cultural impact of tourism investment involving local communities in managing cultural sites and events and developing awareness to strategies to strengthen relationships between visitors and residents while monitoring tourism impact on national identity. Arajat Private School celebrated its 125 anniversary with a ceremony attended by the Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak Juma. The minister highlighted the school's significant role in nurturing generations of talented Bahrainis who have made substantial contributions to national development. The celebration brought together current educational and administrative staff as well as alumni to commemorate the school's continuous achievements. The school honored employees who have dedicated 25 years or more of service, recognizing their invaluable contributions to the institution's growth. This milestone event not only celebrated past accomplishment, but also reaffirmed the school's commitment to providing high quality education and providing qualified individuals who will continue to shape Bahrain's future. The extensive regional and international participation in the 7th edition of the Bahrain International Air Show was a milestone in achieving economic and tourism returns. The show contributed to the development of the national economy through its contribution to the revitalization of the tourism sector and the economic movement in general, in addition to the air shows and entertainment events that accompanied the event. The Bahrain International Air Show provided new and exceptional opportunities in the aviation industry, which contributed about $3.5 trillion, representing more than 8% of global output. The Bahrain International Air Show has become an important addition to the national economy as it contributes to the revitalization of the tourism sector and the economic movement in general by increasing the occupancy rates of hotels and restaurants in addition to being one of the elements of the diverse tourism product in Bahrain as well as enhancing Bahrain's position in the field of exhibitions and conferences as an important tributary to the national economy. The show contributes to attracting more investment opportunities by making major deals in the aviation and logistics sector. The participation of various major international companies is a sign of the weight and leading international reputation that the show has come to enjoy. The benefits of the show are not limited to the economic and investment aspect, but also extended to the military aspect as the exhibition provides great opportunities to enhance capacity building, exchange experiences, and learn about the latest weapons and military technologies, as well as provide a scientific platform for researchers and those interested in aviation and in space sciences. The success is complemented by the wide media attention from local, regional, and international media, which also highlighted the developmental achievements of Bahrain in various domains, thus contributing to attracting more investments and realizing additional benefits for the national economy. 
The Director General of the Institute of Public Administration, Dr. Sheikh Rana bint Isa bin Aij Al Khalifa, confirmed that the Leadership Development Program offered to employees of Bahrain Airport Services Company, BAS, aims to further develop national caterers working in the private sector. This was emphasized during the graduation ceremony for the program's first and second cohorts held on the sideline of the Bahrain International Air Show. The Institute aims to continue investing in national talent by providing relevant expertise. The CEO of BAS, Mohammed Khalil Ahmed, expressed pride in the graduates' achievements, noting their commitment to developing capabilities that align with institutional and national ambitions. Flight Lieutenant Sheikha Aisha bint Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa made history as the first Bahraini pilot to pilot a combat aircraft in the Royal Bahraini Air Force. Her participation in the seventh edition of the Bahrain International Air Show marked another milestone showcasing the pioneering role of Bahraini women in aviation. The achievement reflects the determination and spirit of Bahraini women as well as the government's support for women's participation in various domains. Sheikha Aisha's success comes after completing a rigorous military aviation training. The Supreme Committee for Hajj and Umrah Affairs announced that the total number of people registered to perform Hajj for the 2025 season through the Hajj E platform has reached more than 12,000 people so far, with 46% of males and 54% of females registered. The committee said that it will provide Hajj campaigns with the number of their registrants, taking into account the fulfillment of the priority and priority criteria before closing the registration door. The services available through the platform include submitting applications, inquiring about the status of the applications, and modifying them and viewing the campaign's offers and prices of their packages. The committee pointed out that the priority in accepting applications will be for Bahrainis who have not previously performed the Hajj, whether individuals or groups, and the priority list also includes Bahraini women who have not previously performed the Hajj and are accompanied by a Bahraini who has previously performed the Hajj, taking into account the priority of registration on the platform, provided that all applicants are subject to meeting the required criteria.